Hi, it's me again with Corel Doll Tips and Tricks. Today's video will be about drawing symmetrically or drawing with the symmetry tool. I'm pretty sure the symmetry tool started in X8. So if you don't have it um, in your older versions, if we do something like that, and then you take a, this is pretty cool. And the other way I'm gonna show you is equal as cool. Just start on the line and with your freehand tool, just uh, draw some whoop de doos or whatever you want to call them and then stop. And it does that automatically. And then you can take that line and make it a thicker line, make it quite a bit thicker. You could um, go up to object, convert the outline to an object, left click, right click. Whoop. And then you have this. Now your joints are gonna be a little bit off because we made the line thicker. So I was just playing around this morning and without the symmetry tool, I'm gonna to call this symmetrically drawing. You can do something like this. And I've got my indexing lines in the center of the page. There's two ways you could draw. We could take an ellipse and go right here and just have a small half circle holding down the control button. And then I'm gonna mirror it the other way because I really want it in this corner. Actually, I want it in this corner of my drawing. So there's a quarter of a circle. Now I'm gonna take another ellipse holding down the, we'll change it back to full circle and hit P and put it in the center of the page. That's gonna give me some guidelines to do what I wanna do. So I'm actually gonna make this thing black and then I'm gonna, let's zoom in here. I'm gonna get my freehand, not my two point line, my freehand tool. And I'm gonna start, and then I'm gonna kinda come out, and I'm gonna kinda do that same thing. Um, you're, you'll find out how uh, good your hand movement is on your mouth by doing this. And I've got mine set on 100% smoothness if you're wondering how I did it. And then you can just come down and meet. Now we can take away our circle and we need to, and the circle was there to get it. Well, you know what? I don't want to get rid of the circle yet. The circle was there so our, our starting and our ending points are the same. I'm going to go ahead and make this line a thicker line. Whoop. And you can see the kind of the problem I have right there. It's with a node that I turned too sharply. So I'm going to get my shape tool and I'm going to spin that node around. Well, there we go. That's not really there. If you zoom in and out, it'll go away. Now I want to stay on that line. So that's good enough right now. I'm going to go ahead and convert this outline to an object. And then when I left click, right click, I can actually take my virtual segment delete key and delete that line. So that ought to be pretty close to where I need to be. This line's pretty good. I'm gonna to try to stay in the middle, but I'm gonna move these nodes just off a little bit. And now I'm gonna delete these. Now we can get rid of our circle by clicking on it and hitting delete. We can actually get rid of this circle now. We've got the center of the page. I made a little mistake right there, but it's good. I'm gonna control D and make a duplicate, then alternate C to make the rotation of the center. And I'm just gonna rotate it 90 degrees. This is where we need to check to see if we're match and we do not. So you only wanna change one side. So we're gonna change this side and we're gonna have it match right there and have it match right there. Now we can delete this one and control D and make a duplicate, alternate C to make the rotation in the center, rotate it 90 degrees and see now they match. Now we can take that and control D and duplicate it and rotate it 180 degrees, control D. And the possibilities are endless. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a box. Anytime you use the smart fill tool, um, this way it won't leak outside the box. And we're gonna fill those in. And that just kind of proved that that my joints held. 
And now that it's smart field, it's all one piece. So we left click, right click, we have that pretty neat looking outline. And there, I mean, there's tons of stuff. I, I, I like this one my best. You know, the flow is pretty good. This one, because it's an object and it's got an outline, we can change the outline thickness to like 10 points and have a totally different look. We could actually take away the feel and get that effect right there. So that's the difference between if you don't have, if you're still on like X7 or below, you don't have that symmetry tool. In, in some ways, I actually think this is kind of better. And you don't have to start with a um, quarter of a circle. You know, you could get a, uh, and, and doing it another way, let's take away the indexing line, take away our box. Uh, one way you can do it, just draw an ellipse, go back to center, hit P, put it in the center of the page. You could, instead of doing one fourth of it, you could do one eighth of it, two point line, draw a straight line, hit P, control D to make a duplicate and rotate it 22.5 degrees. Yeah, let's go 45. That'd be too little. So now we're doing that part. I actually like to draw it with the other way. Um, what we're going to do is take away these in, these lines. Whoop. And then I'm going to rotate this back a negative 22.5 because I want that on top dead center just to make it easier to draw. Now, I still need to bring in another ellipse. And whenever you do that, it's kind of irritating. Go ahead and check that before you draw, and it should stay there. So there's, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. So this time I'm just going to draw, you know, not a quarter of it. I'm going to draw a half, and I'm going to try to stay on that circle when I start. Start and finish on that circle. That's the whole key. And when I said I had my smoothing on 100%, well, that's a two point line. When you get your freehand tool, you have 100% smoothing. If you don't have it on 100%, you only have it on 50 or below, uh, your movement isn't gonna be as smooth. Now it smoothed it out pretty good, but if you jack this to 100%, you can either do hit the slide bar up to 100 or just type in 100. Your, your hand drawing will be a lot sm uh, smoother. So we need to start right there on that intersection and then come out and watch that bottom kind of a sharp uh, line. When I let go, it smoothed it out because I'm on 100%. Now I can already see that I'm coming up with this one. So we're gonna take away that node by just deleting it and take that and actually kind of move it like that so it's kind of coming toward that arrow. Let's see what happens if we take away that node. That might look pretty cool. And then on this side, do the same thing. You can't have that abrupt turn. So we're just gonna bring this, bring this arrow and kind of have it coming onto that line. Now, you know, if I was gonna do it for real, I'd, you know, straighten these out, make them look a little bit better. And I mean, like I said before, the, the possibilities are endless when you're doing this. So then I'm going to take it and make it a 12 point line. That might be a little thick. Let's go 10. And then go to object, uh, excuse me, uh, convert outline to an object. And when you left click, right click, you want that to be in the middle and you want it past it. So we're just going to take that, try to go a little bit past. We might be a little bit off. Take that and delete it. The circle is stopping the line from being deleted, but we need it for just a second more. And then come, you know, kind of get it close. We can take away that part of the circle now. And now we can delete all that circle by just clicking on that circle. And remember we did uh, matter of fact, we can get rid of all this now because we have indexing lines because we started in the center of the page. So turn on your indexing line. Now, control D to duplicate, alternate C to rotate it. This time we're just going to rotate it 45 degrees. 
And then we're going to kind of look at our joints. I'm, I'm pretty close, but I'm still off. So you only want to move one of them, so you might as well just move this one because then you can just nudge it back. And what that does is next time it comes around, they're going to meet. So delete that one. Control D to duplicate, alternate C to rotate around the center of the page, 45 degrees. Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now it should be, it should not late, but just in case, I always draw a rectangle and fill that in. That's a pretty cool design. And if you really worked on it and got this a little bit, you know, better, now that this is, you know, all one piece, you could actually probably smooth that out and, and then back up and kind of start over. But that's pretty cool. There's a lot you could do with that. Let's make it a burn orange. Take away the outline. And use the, let's say, see if the interactive field tool will do anything. And it does. We're going to make this a yellow. That's pretty cool. And then move that out of the way and you're leaving your outline. Now let's look at this on a black background. So take your rectangle tool or your square tool, fill it in with black, object, order, back a page. That's pretty cool. Anyway, I hope that helps some of you a little bit. Thank you for watching.